In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can download and install RL Craft for Minecraft. If this guide helps you out, please consider subscribing and leaving a like on the video. It really does support the channel. First things first, if you are in Minecraft, go ahead and close it out completely and open up a web browser of your choice. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and open up Google Chrome, but anything works for you, so it doesn't really matter what you use. Go ahead and head to the search icon up here and type in curseforge.com and hit enter. You'll see this little section up at the top that says get CurseForge app. Go ahead and click on it just because this will be an easier version, just because this will be an easier way to manage your mods. I recommend downloading the standalone version, but you could also do the Overwolf version if you would like. Click on the standalone version, wait for this installer to go ahead and finish, and then click on it, hit next, and go through this installation process. Once it finishes downloading it, it's gonna automatically open up for you. And you'll see this My Mod Pack section right here. Yours will probably be blank right here, so go ahead and ignore it. And go to the home page right here. Click on Minecraft, just like so, and then hit the Browse Mod Packs, just like so. Up at the very top, you're gonna see a search bar. Go ahead and type in R-L-C-R-A-F-T for R-L Craft, and hit Enter, and it's gonna pop up a page that looks something like this. Go ahead and click on the very top one and then hit install and it's going to automatically start installing RL Craft to your Minecraft version just like that. You don't even have to drag any folders into a specific thing to do this and you don't have to worry about which version of Minecraft you're on because it's going to automatically launch the version of Minecraft compatible with the latest release version of RL Craft. It's actually pretty awesome how CurseForge works and super convenient and it saves so much time overall. I absolutely love it. Once it finishes, you'll see a play button here. You could also go to your My Mod Pack section and you'll find it in here. And you just gotta hit play through this and it's gonna update your Minecraft launcher and you might see this game dashboard pop up as well. You can go ahead and minimize this, it doesn't really matter. But what it's gonna do is actually automatically start launching the Minecraft launcher for you. And you simply just have to hit play up at the very top, tick this little box and hit play one more time and you're good to go. It'll load you into Minecraft, and as you can see, it'll like load you into the RL Craft version of Minecraft for you. Once again, it might take a minute if it's your first time launching it. It has to initialize all the mods and also pre-install all the mods as well, just because this pack has so much stuff in it. As you can see though, once it finishes, you will be in RL Craft. You just gotta hit single player, create a new world. In this case, I'm gonna put it in creative, create another one. And as you can see, not only are you gonna have custom loading screens, but you'll also notice new terrain generation. You'll notice custom trees, different unique structures, and dozens of new mobs such as turkeys, flying beasts, and so much more. It's actually insane. And oh my God, I spawned under the water. I've never seen that before. That's cool. But yeah, it's such an awesome mod. I love RL Craft so much. It's definitely a lot harder, deeper, and more immersive than just that like standard vanilla experience, which is cool. Like what the heck are these things, bro? We got whole makas or whatever in here. If this video helped you get RL Craft running, please consider liking the video and subscribing for even more Minecraft content like this. It really does help at the channel, but have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.